Bloody hell, are we still doing these? Sound effects. Thank you, small red box, and whoever sent me it. Right, loot crates time again, and this month's theme is cyber. I'm hoping it's about cyber sex, and it will ask ASL before writing lots of badly spelled rude words in the text box, but I suspect it is more likely to do with cybernetic stuff, especially as I've already been told there is a uh, Terminator thing and a Blade Runner thing in it, so I'm guessing cybernetic. But anyway, this month... We're going to be a little bit different on the old loot crate. We're going to play a game, and I shall tell you for why. Because, as you will know, if you have seen uh, the contents of the recent loot crates, and more to the point if you've paid money for one, you will realise they ain't been too good, to say the least. We've had fucking inflatable fucking crowns, and that was frankly the tip of the iceberg, with uh, multiple low-quality items, many of which just feel like promo things you used to be given if you went to some kind of uh, convention or something, but you don't really get them anymore because they've realised they can charge you for them. Anyway, that's a separate thing. Loot crate-wise, we are thinking along these lines. Basically, um, I just don't want to have to shout at a box of not very good stuff every month because it's a bit crap and it becomes more about me shouting than what actually is in the product, and that's not the way we try and do things on this channel. And so, uh, basically, if this month's box is not up to snuff, I'm going to move over to a different provider of uh, box-related things, which will be a shame, because I enjoy the consistency of always having one from the same people, and it's always, you know, disparate and different. But frankly, I used to look forward to them arriving, and now I slightly dread it, and that's not good, um, you know, when you're supposed to be getting things you enjoy. So this is the way this is going to work. Anything that feels like a decent quality item will go on the left and will score one point for Loot Crate. Anything that feels like a promotional item will go on the right and score minus one points for Loot Crate. And anything that's just sort of, mm, this is all right, you know, would go in the middle. So for reference, one of those, um, what do they call them, those uh, pop figures you get with a big head and it's like a vaguely generic plastic thing that I don't personally like, but it is a high quality thing that people like, that would go in the plus one pile. Something like, I don't know, Avengers shoelaces, or a Ghostbusters thing that they big up and it turns out to be a fucking bit of paper you hang from your door handle, would go in the minus one pile. Whereas something like, uh, well, the fucking inflatable fucking crown would actually go in the middle, I think, because it's not like you know, you feel like you're being given something to promote something, it's just not a very interesting item. So that's the way it's going to work. Good stuff, right? Hang on. That's your left, isn't it? And my left as well, because this isn't reversed, because it's filmed first person. Wow, that confused the hell out of me. Guess who's been filming from another angle recently? Right. Let's begin that again and get it right this time. Left-hand side will be good items, right-hand side bad items, middling stuff in the middle. Then we add it all up. And here's the thing, I want them to come out at least plus three, which is actually pretty high for something like that. But frankly, um, they need to be back, I think, onto the quality we were getting like a year ago before my interest will be again peaked. So that's the way it's going to work. We want three or above. For um, comparison, last month's would have been minus one. So um, come on, Loot Crate, you can do it. Let's have some Eye of the Tiger. You know, we can't do that, it costs too much to uh, license it. Okay, let's just open the box then. Visit lootcrate.com cybercrate for assembly instructions. Oh my god, you make your own Terminator out of the box. Um, oh, I don't know if you can see this, probably not, hang on. It's got like a Terminator endoskeleton neck, interesting. Well, we've got a box and we've got a t-shirt, um, and another smaller box inside. It's like Boxception or something. T-shirts, always good quality, but what's the design like? Oh, it's Optimus Pr Ah, right, I get it. Yes. This is Optimus Prime, but in like a Tron position. So you've got the whole um, neon effect and similar font going on there, but it's actually old Optimus Prime from the Transformers. I actually really like that. Generally, um, it's something where they just mash up two pop culture things don't do a lot for me, but this seems more sort of thematic than obvious. Yeah, that's a really nice T-shirt. Right, well, good start. Although, admittedly, the T-shirts are usually... Pretty good, so the least. I shall put that on that side. You're one up. Let's continue. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, I was really excited because I thought the thing in the big box was going to be Terminator, but I've just seen the Terminator thing is probably this quite obvious Terminator Genesis brain chip. Ooh. Ooh. This is interesting. Inside this little bag we have something that won't come out. Um, brain chip. So it's a key ring of... Uh, well, the wafer circuit that was the brain of the Terminators, I presume. And it's actually really solid. It's a solid metal, 
Um, it looks like it's got really yeah, decent paint on it, so it's not just all going to chip off immediately if you do use it as a keyring in your pocket, so we get bonus points for that as well. Um, less good is that the basic test of the keyring, which is you give it a yank, it came off immediately rather than the um, cardboard of the staples going, so that's not such a good sign. Mm, I'm torn on this, I shall tell you for why. Um, it's, it's a good thing, it's a very solid good thing, but it just looks like a bloody chocolate bar. It's not sort of, it's a little bit too abstract, you wouldn't really know it's the sort of wafer chip unless you actually knew, and the actual keyring thing's a bit mm, torn on that, because it, it's, you know, a solid decent object. Not, no, it's going to have to go in the middle, and concur no points either way. Plop! Away with yours. Right, next up, I want to see what's in this bloody great box. Oh god, it is another Terminator thing. Terminator Genesis. I'd just like to point out, actually, um, they do get bonus marks on that, because although it says Terminator Genesis, it's like a generic Terminator thing, because let's face it, the Genesis film, although not out yet, does look pretty fucking terrible from the trailers. So you end up with something that can remind you of the old good films, rather than, uh, you know, Salvation and uh, Genesis, which is shaping up to look a bit ass. But who knows? And actually, I've never seen Salvation because it looked so bad I couldn't sit through it, so um, I can't really comment on that one either. But Terminator 3 wasn't great, Terminator 2 was, and Terminator 1's fantastic. And that's my movie review for the day. So what's going on here? Oh my god. That's rather nice. It's very light, so I'm guessing it's plastic as opposed to being made out of weapons-grade plutonium, but half-scale endoskull of the mighty Terminator, the T-800, I believe, or the T-101, as it is sometimes referred to in promotional material, or used to be, anyway. Very confusing thing in the Amiga game of uh, Terminator 2, if you remember. I don't know, maybe they sorted that out. Okay, this is quite nice. Um, yeah, it's got this sort of dirty wash in it. And I feel like there shouldn't be paint on that bit, actually. But uh, it still kind of works, because it just looks, well, sort of oily, which I imagine it would be. If not, it wouldn't move properly. you got your red eyes, you got your gnashy teeth. Yeah, it's pretty solid, actually. There's not much weight to it, but it's a very nice looking thing. I actually really like that. I'm going to stick that on a shelf or something. But more importantly... Oh, hang on, paperweight. There, it's just heavy enough. Um, yeah, that definitely goes in the plus one pile. That is a good thing. And again, generic Terminator. Although it says Genesis on the box, you know, your dad would recognise it from the first film. That uh, is, yeah, pretty good. OK, I'm liking this so far. I reckon we're on good track. He says, then the rest of the box is full of crowns or something. Right, next up, a patch. Ooh, an iron-on patch, and it's a decent uh, woven one as well. Uh, these are good. I like that. Got a fucking clue what it is. <laughs> it's familiar. I feel like I've seen it. Is it from something from, like, years and years ago? That's going to... Oh, I'm going to have to look that up afterwards, or maybe it'll be in their uh, little book. I don't know, that would involve reading their little book, and that's not a precedent I wish to start for myself. We'll come back to that. And a big pencil case, interestingly. Hmm, well, you could keep your phone and anything larger in it as well, I suppose. Hmm. That's decent enough. Ooh, hang on. I reckon this is glow-in-the-dark. Yeah, if you look, there's a sort of stippling on the rather nice circuitry thing going on. I quite like that. That's a nice thing. Um, it's uh, vaguely useful, but also pretty. And if it glows in the dark well, that will get bonus points. We shall test that after. Currently, tell you what, it's in the zero pile, but if it does glow nicely, it'll get moved into the plus one pile. Mm. <sighs> Why? 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 Why does somebody want a badge to commemorate the time they bought something? Next up, the book. As ever, makes a pleasant whistling noise that flies out the window. And now, ooh, a big old mouse mat by the looks of it, yeah. A Borderlands mouse mat by the looks of it. 20, 2015 Hyperion LLC, there we are. Uh, Borderlands. With no, oh, I was going to say it's quite good because the... Um, I mean, you've got a bit of text on the bottom, but the logo is quite subtle, but unfortunately the loot crate is a bit less subtle. But it's what I like about this is it's very large. Usually the mouse pads you get are um, sort of half that size as standard, isn't it? But it's a big one. It's got the nice um, feel of the old fabric on the front, whereas most modern ones are shiny. Don't get me wrong, that's a personal preference. I just prefer the material over the shiny personally. Um, but that's really good. Yeah, nice solid uh, bit of rubber, decent mouse mat, nice design. OK, well, you really are doing us a good in this time, Loot Crate, thus far. 
please. Please don't screw it up. Don't screw it up with this Battlestar Galactica envelope that I can't get out. There we go. Well, there's more stuff in the bottom as well. For range, facility use only. Range sheet. Command issue. Cross rank service. Battlestar Galactica BSG 75. So I'm guessing we're going to have some kind of um, Cylon thing going on with this. Range sheet. That's like a target, isn't it? So there's some Cylons to shoot. Oh, yeah. So it's basically a posh envelope, and inside are two... Ooh. Too well, I suppose, really, they're posters as opposed to targets. But... Oh, yep, yeah, it folds out nicely into quite a large thing, which is always a shame, because um, that's actually quite a nice design. So I'm really going to show that. The weakness here, of course, is if something isn't rolled up, um, you end up with these sort of permanent creases. But my god, if you've ever sent anything through the post, the problem with rolling posters are they take up a lot of room. I mean, a lot of room. Um, I genuinely like that. I'd consider having that on a wall, actually. Um, the creases are a bit off-putting, but anyway, it's pretty nifty. What is the other one? Um, oh god, hang on. We've got the map disease, but we can't fold it up again. There we are. It is done. Um, it looks exactly the same. Oh, you're supposed to get two? Yeah, it is literally the same. That's odd. Have I got two by accident? Or are you supposed well, no. I think they must have meant to give you two. Two posters um, of a fairly generic Cylon design, but pretty enough. Mm, but folded, not rolled, which, you know, I appreciate the logistics thereof, but uh, we are dealing with the end product. I'm going to stick that in the middle, I think. It doesn't feel um, super high quality enough, but it's certainly not bad, and certainly doesn't feel like promo shit, so... Time you go there, thank you all. Next up, some stickers! Join us for Nerd HQ 2015. This feels very much like an advert. Viva la Nerdolution! <laughs> See, he's got, he's got like a pair of Michael Caine National Health Service specs. And look, they've got tape in the middle. <laughs> uh, San Diego. Yep, that's a little bit of a trek. At the New Children's Museum, Viva la Nerdolution. www.thenerd.com. Yep, that's definitely going in the minus one pile, I feel. That's a shame. I thought we were going to have some amazing high score there, but no. And, ooh, oh, God, there's a little extra flaps. They've really gone all out on the box this time. It's, right, I'm going to have to actually read the instructions, I think, to see what's going on there. This is weird. It said there was going to be a Blade Runner. That means this must be Blade Runner. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's, um... Who are the people who made the replicants? Uh, more human than human. Oh, it begins with T. That's going to draw Tyrrell. There we are, Tyrrell. I thought of it a second ago and then didn't say it I thought, no, that's Game of Thrones, but it's the same, isn't it? Yeah. The light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. So that's the logo of the um, people who made the Blade Runner. Ah, now we get it. That's nice. Does that go in the middle or to the left? Hmm. I'm actually going to put it to the left, and i tell you why. Because of the subtlety. Maybe a little bit too subtle. I mean, I didn't get it. I mean, mind you, I haven't seen Blade Runner for about 15 years, so it's not exactly something that's fresh in my mind. But it's not full of bloody logos and things. It's a nice thing. And yeah, sod it, that can go that side. Very good. Right, uh, we need to do two things now. One is to test the glow in the darkiness. Right, bear with me, I shall fiddle with the lights. Oh, hang on, let me put it somewhere we can actually see it first. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Does this come out? Nope, that's actually quite confusing. There we go. Jump cut! Because, of course, trying to test something glow-in-the-dark that has been stuck in a completely black box for a considerable period of time is not the best of ideas. So, got, while that charges on a windowsill over there, assuming it is actually glow-in-the-dark, I am still making a bit of an assumption on that, but we shall find out soon. Here is what the box transforms into. It's quite an involved one. You have to cut bits out and stick tabs in holes and stuff. And now... It's a display <laughs> box for your endoskull. Hey! Unfortunately, it does mean he ends up kind of looking up in the air. Oddly, maybe we could uh, sort of stick it on there like that. No, a little bit further back. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, actually, he's on the camera, it still looks like he's looking up in the air. But you could fiddle with it a bit. That's... I don't know whether that works or not, actually. I'm going to say that's quite a nice thing, really. It's a bit of thought got into it. High quality cardboard. It's a bit of a laugh in it. It's certainly not how I will be displaying my plastic skull o' doom, but bonus points for engineering effort, lads. Right, let's go and get that bloody pencil case. Balls. It's doing that thing where it's glowing to the naked eye, but not to the camcorder because it's not super bright. But yeah, it's showing up the circuitry pattern and looks pretty damn cool, actually. Hmm, okay, you get to go in the nice pile then. Good for you. I should probably turn the lights back on. Errol! 
Right, there we go. So, time to add it on up. I think this is going to be a winner, but let us not count chickens lest they hatch in our brains, or something like that. Right, so we've got the endoskeleton, that's obviously a good one. Oh, actually, just get, just get shot of those entirely as they count for naught. One, two, three, four, five. That's good, five is solid, but minus one for that. So that takes us down to four. I am happy with that, good. A bit of a rise back to the loot crate of old. Thank you, Plastic Skull. You've made everything better. I wonder if I rub this enough, it'll get all shiny. One way to find out. Probably just make the fingers disappear. Anyway, thank goodness that was actually a box full of things that people might want. Which, let's face it, as being the entire point, is kind of important. And frankly, after the last couple, it's nice to see a return to form. Keep it up, lads. In fact, you deserve a sound effect. Hang on. Uh, there we are. There's the applause one. Ready? I don't know why I prefaced that it was applause, you can probably guess that. What? Wow, that went on a bit longer than I expected. So then, I'll be sticking with the loot crate for a bit. Well, at least until they give me fucking shoelaces again or something, or a door hanger. Let, let's not focus on the past. Look, it's a nice skull. Addendum. Bloody pencil bag thing's got a hole in the bottom. Humph. Minus one point. But he's, you're still on three, so it's all right. But still, principle. Where will I keep my pencils now? Switzerland?